Hello and welcome to another edition of It's Just Our Opinion. Thank you for joining in again. Uh, I hope you're enjoying these shows and if you do, if you enjoy them, hey, we hope you'll share it with your friends and tell them to share it and who knows, maybe even their friends will share it. Uh, you know, we hope it's some stuff that you enjoy and, and some of it's even funny maybe, but remember it's just our opinion. But uh, I'm going to start out today giving you some information. If you live in Morgan or Lawrence County, Joe Whittler Co-op is in the process of having regional meetings out in the counties and, and Morgan and Lawrence, letting people know they want to get into the internet business. Now, out in the rural areas, a lot of the areas don't have internet service. Uh, nobody really uh, services a lot of the rural areas. So Joe Wheeler has decided they're going to do that if the membership likes it. In order for Joe Wheeler to make that investment, the membership has to vote. It has to be a special election for them to vote. And that election is November the 1st. So sometime in October, if you get power from Joe Wheeler Electric, you'll be getting a ballot in the mail and, and it'll be stamped on the envelope, uh, uh, internet ballot. And just send that thing back in and let them know if enough people vote yes, then they're going to invest in this project so that you, we can have uh, internet service all throughout Morgan and Lawrence County. Uh, remember, send it in if you, if you get it, and uh, let's let's support that cause. And you know, there's so many folks that want to start businesses out in the rural area that they don't have internet. Kids bring Chromebooks home from school; they can only play games on them because they don't have internet. And you know, I could go on and on. So send the ballots back in. Let's support Joe Wheeler in this cause and, and, and get that going. Another thing, let's talk about the weekend. Hey, everybody's football team won in Alabama. Well, not everybody's, but nearly everybody. Alabama won big as expected. Had a little, little trouble the first quarter. Auburn won big as expected. Uh, didn't really have a whole lot of trouble with Kent State. Uh, and, you know, everybody in Alabama right now is kind of watching Oklahoma to see what they do because Jalen Hurts didn't have any trouble at all. Uh, Oklahoma won. And, you know, we've got a lot of great teams in, in Alabama. You know, we've got UAB, Troy State, UN, UNA, Alabama A&M, uh, several good, good uh, football teams in, in the area. But, that's the main ones everybody's watching is Alabama and Auburn and both are winning and, and, and looking good right now. So let's see what happens this next weekend. You know, they uh, eventually going to have somebody that might play them for two quarters. So far, they really had not had any trouble. So uh, moving on to that, going to give you a few uh, things that I think is kind of funny. You know, everybody, and it's really interesting too. When you go shopping in the stores you, you, and you're buying water and drinks, and all, they always have an expiration date. I found out the other day, I was just scanning the internet looking for stuff and, and come across this. The expiration date on a water bottle is not for the water. Now, I always wondered how water could expire because, you know, it's really nothing there to expire. But I found out the expiration date is actually for the water for the bottle itself, not for the water. Now, how many of y'all out there knew that? Don't, you know, if you raise your hand, I can't see, but but I didn't know that. I never dreamed it was for the uh, the bottle itself, but I just never really thought the water could expire. But, you know, that was pretty interesting to me, I, just to find out something like that. Uh, this is something else I was scanning and found. In, in, in the United States, there are more public libraries than they are McDonald's. Now, how many of you would have ever guessed that? I mean, you think most towns only have maybe one, two at the most libraries. A lot of your big towns have four, five, six McDonald's, more than that if you go to Chicago. Uh, so I never would have thought that, but that is, that's pretty interesting. That, that'd be a trivia question for somebody, maybe a, a little game where you and your family's playing. Never would have thought it. There was a, here where I live, we only have one library uh, in the town, but now we have several in the county. But but that's amazing. More public libraries than McDonald's. Now that, that like I say, I just I never would have guessed that at all. Another interesting fact, you know, if you if you get around just looking for stuff and trying to 
gain knowledge and build your mind up and stuff. You can find all kind of things. I found this one out, tears, tears. When your body produces tears, if it's caused by sadness or being happy or even onions, under a microscope, those tears are different. You can, you know, they, 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 they're made up different. Sad tears are different than happy tears. Happy tears are different from onion tears. Now, you know, I always thought this tears was tears, but you know, we I found out different on that. How many, how many out there would have ever thought there would be a difference in the tears? Uh, you know, maybe the onion tears might have a little smell to them, but it's actually, they, they say they, they're different if you look at them under a microscope. This one here I really thought was interesting. Now, we, we, we built our house here a few years ago. I think we built on an ant bed because ants are everywhere. They're just coming up in the yard and, I mean, all over. But I found out that for every human uh, on Earth, there are 1.6 million ants. Now, that's a lot of ants. Now, I don't know how many ants is in each little mound out here in the yard, but, you know, there's, there's thousands of them, maybe even millions, the way this thing is is saying but you know 1.6 million ants for every human that that's a that's a lot of ants can you imagine uh counting 1.6 million ants just in one one bed well they may not be in one bed they may be all together but anyway that that i thought that was very interesting too 1.6 million ants for every human now this is something now this this is something that I've never thought of now I grew up I grew up watching Tarzan and Wild Kingdom and uh, you know Animal Kingdom and all this stuff and never noticed it but elephants are the only mammal that cannot jump now you think back I you know I seen Tarzan jump and and, and Jane jumped and boy jumped all these critters jumping mountain lions everything but never seen an elephant jump. Never thought about it though. But an elephant cannot jump. So when you you see somebody uh, and they talk about jumping elephants, hey, you know they're not true. But now, sometimes we look like elephants can jump. When you see the elephant uh, down in an Alabama football game, you know they just seem like them elephants just jump all the time. But elephants cannot jump. And, you know, I want to end this thing with something that, that I think is just amazing. So many people, uh, especially uh, during the summer or early spring and stuff, they want to go on diets. Now, how many of y'all have been on a diet this year? Don't raise your hand there. Again, I couldn't see if you did. But I've tried to lose some weight myself. Uh, every time I try to lose some, I end up finding it somewhere else. But... But people go on low-carb diets. Now, that's the best diet to go on if you're going to, because I love to eat meats. And, I mean, you can eat a lot of meats with low-carb diets. But but people, you know, I found out even this past weekend that, that, that people that's on these low-carb diets always have a cheat day. And, you know, I usually would gain my weight back on a cheat day. But but that's, that's kind of interesting. Now, if you have a diet plan and you if you really stick to it, six days a week but to have that one cheat day i bet you maybe you don't gain no weight that week but it's probably hard to lose a bunch but you know we don't we don't really keep up with a whole lot of losing weight anyway we just want to lose today and lose tomorrow and you know when you fit and trim like i am you know you can just fit in that swimsuit and lay out on the beach and never have to worry about it but but anyway that's always some interesting facts you know and and things when you when you just sit around and think about things. Sometimes we have too much time. But anyway, folks, that's the end of this show. I thank you for watching. And remember, everything that's said here today is just our opinion. Thank you.